What's up, Warlord Squad? My name is Anime Warlord, and welcome back to the channel. So, the number one thing on my bucket list, or the number one thing that I want to do before I die, is to go to Japan. Now, my dad has been to Japan before. He's been there twice, and I have never been to Japan before. I've only been there in my dreams, but I want to make that dream a reality someday. Now, I've been interested in Japanese culture for a really, really, really long time. I can't remember what set me off to be interested in Japanese culture, but still though, Japanese culture is insanely beautiful when you learn about it. Now, I think what ignited the spark was my love for culture as a whole, because different parts of the world have all of these different cultures, and it's really cool to learn about them. And obviously, when you go to a different country, you have to do your research on how their culture operates and how they are as a society. And you don't want to just be the foreigner that sticks out like a sore thumb and then they give you all of these weird looks. So now the question is, why do I want to go to Japan? Well, for today's video, I'm going to be giving you the top six reasons why I want to go to Japan. Without any further ado, let's get on with it. Now, ever since I was a kid, I have always loved to ride on the train, and that's one of the most popular modes of transportation that Japan has. They always take their trains, and when my dad went to Japan, he said that the fastest train that they have on their railways is the Shinkansen, or the bullet train. I hear that those things go up to nearly 330 miles per hour. That is pretty fast. My dad also said when he was waiting at the train station for his train, they go so fast that you have to look at them dead on like you can't even blink because if you blink you could probably miss them that's how fast they are now i'm subscribed to a youtube channel called only in japan now that youtube channel covers some of japan's hot spots if you want to go to japan someday and one of the greatest hot spots that they have ever covered is dotomori and osaka so if you're super duper hungry while in japan obviously there's restaurants everywhere but the number one place that they recommended was dotomori in osaka because everywhere you look there's food everywhere and the best thing that they said about dotomori is not only does it have really really good food there but it's also very very cheap now i did try one popular osaka street snack over here in the states and that was takoyaki mm. takoyaki is extremely good if you are a big fan of octopus then you will definitely love takoyaki <laughs> One of my favorite places to visit hands down over here in the United States is the museums. I love museums without a doubt. I've always loved museums and I always will. And Japan man, they have a lot of interesting and unique museums. I mean really, here are some examples. They have the Godzilla Museum, they have the Ghibli Museum, they have the Kyoto International Manga Museum, and so on and so forth. Japan has a lot of museums to choose from. For those who didn't know, I am a huge huge history buff. I would definitely love to see all of Japan's history museums. I would love to see like what it was back in the day, back in the Edo period, the Heian period. Dude, it will be a motherfucking blast because I just don't focus on history over here in the United States. Mm -mm. I love to branch out into different parts of the world through different times, different years, different decades, and so on and so forth. I love history. <laughs> Now, ever since I was a little kid in elementary school, I have always loved to sing, and Japan is a long and proud tradition of karaoke. I remember doing karaoke at Kano Delete 2019, and oh my god, it was a lot of fun, because the people there at Kano Delete don't care if your singing voice is bad, good, decent, or professional, they just want to have a really good time, and I'm pretty sure the Japanese think the same way. <laughs> anime, manga, video games, and just geek them all around. Because if you want to make a reasons why you want to go to Japan list, you can't forget to mention Akihabara, especially if you're an anime lover like yours truly. I mean, bro, I've seen pictures and videos of Akihabara, and I just remember going, holy shit, that's paradise! Yeah, bro, if you're a hardcore otaku like yours truly, then that place is going to seem like heaven to y'all. Definitely 100%. Now, when I go to Akihabara, when I go to Japan someday, I'm just going to be all like, pinch me. I, 
I must be dreaming. Dude, just talking about Akihabara gets chills up my spine. Okay, people, before I talk about my number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. The first honorable mention is Thunder Dolphin. It's a gigantic roller coaster that rides through a building. Honorable mention number two, the giant gyoza challenge. Now, normally when you think of gyoza or dumplings, they're like about that big, but this mama is this big. You know what? This isn't really telling you anything. Here's a little clip of the giant gyoza challenge. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fucking huge, right? <laughs> okay, so here's the third honorable mention. The third honorable mention is Mandarake. So Mandarake is kind of like a little mini Akihabara when you think about it. They have non-translated Japanese manga. They also have unique toys and other stuff. So I look forward to checking that out when I go to Japan. There's yet again, another food one. For honorable mention number four, I wanna go to Nishiki Ichiba, that's in Kyoto. And I've seen videos of Nishiki Ichiba, I'm like, oh, Oh my god everything there looks so good especially the taco tamago basically it's a little mini baby octopi and they put an egg in the octopus's head and i love eggs and i love octopus so win-win situation baby win-win next honorable mention is tokyo tower and the reasons why i want to go and see tokyo tower are countless oh yeah and fun fact one of my good friends who went to japan before actually proposed to his girlfriend inside tokyo tower so sweet and finally the last honorable mention is Ganso Ramen Yokocho, and oh my god, I have seen a lot of videos about Ramen Alley, and I'm just like, dude, that looks incredible. And from what I've been told and heard, that that place opened around 1310? I don't know, I can't remember, but they say that they serve the best miso ramen in all of Japan if you want to go and visit there. <laughs> And finally, for the last reason why I want to go to Japan is for the culture. Because, like I said before in the beginning of the video, I have always been interested in Japanese culture. Because if you want to go to a different country in your lifetime, it's always very important to embrace the culture and you have many unique stories to tell when you come back home to wherever you reside. And I know... When I go to Japan, I will have a lot of great stories to tell when I return over here to the United States. So, when I go to Japan, I am not going to travel alone. I am obviously going to travel with my friends. Because what the hell is the point of going somewhere fun and exciting as Japan without people to share it with, you know? And when I do get the opportunity to go to Japan, you bet your ass I'm going to do an otaku vlog of Japan. I'm going to do stories on my Instagram. And you can damn well expect that I'll be doing highlights as well. So, what are some reasons why you want to go to Japan? Let me know either in a video response or in the comments section below. So, that just about wraps things up for today's video, you guys. If y'all like today's video, give it a like. If you guys have anything to say about today's video, give it a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell for future nerdy videos. You guys already know who I am. I'm Anime Warlord. Stay nerdy, stay safe out there, and I look forward to catching you guys again in the very next video. Peace out.